If you're using Google Slides, you might want to know when you've last updated it, especially if you have collaborators or students who want to know, is this current? So when you're looking here at my Google Slides, when was the current updates done? You can go up here to the edits maybe, but not necessarily accurate as to what we might be thinking about. So I have created an add-on in the add-ons menu to add a date. It is an add-on for Google Slides, so you will need to be in Google Slides. Now this is in the Workspace Marketplace, so you can install it, and you can install it across your entire domain. It collects no user data, none. All it does is grab the date, watch, I'm gonna go to add-ons, add a date, and choose add date, and on this first slide, it put in the date, Thursday, May 13th, 2021, at 4.38 and 46 seconds. So now notice that 46 seconds, I'm gonna go to add a date, choose add date, wait for it, and you see it changed from 38 minutes to 39 minutes, so it updates every time that you choose it. Now it does have to be done manually. So it doesn't just add a date just because you opened it, but rather because you wanna to convey to people this is the version and the date that it was last edited or updated or whatever reason you'd wanna have a date on the slide. So even though I'm here on the third slide, I go to add-ons and choose add a date, add date, and nothing happens. That's because it puts it on the first slide. So you see that when I do add a date, it's gonna change it to just on this first slide and it'll update. Now if I delete this text box, that is no problem. Add-ons, add a date, add date, and it's just gonna add a new one. Now what if I close the tab? Okay, so that's gone. I've closed it and I open it back up. Is it gonna make a new text box? And the answer is no. So when I go up to the add-ons, it knows which text box has the date in it. Add a date, add date, and you can see that it has updated that text box even though I closed it and came back. So you're gonna to go to the Google Workspace Marketplace and it says add a date and you can install this either just for your account or domain wide. And it's real simple, collects no user data whatsoever, but you'll be able to find it all the time in the add-ons menu in Google Slides once you install it.